We gotta start doing these inside now. It is summer, would like to be outside. Maybe out in the back patio with Grandpa Tony, Grandma Sadie. It's way too humid. Yeah. In fact, Tuesday morning we had a record high dew point. That just, that sets up a really humid day. Makes for terrible hair days. I'm right there with you, Gene. No amount of Uppercut Deluxe pomade can salvage the Florida humidity. I'm a Dapper Dan man. So means the air is just so tropical. What even is the dew point? You ask any meteorologist, forecaster, the dew point is a fantastic tool to know how much moisture is in the air. Timmy D always says the dew point is the decider. Because more often than not, it's the value in the air that makes the air feel the way it does. To help explain what a dew point is, let's use temperature. So today, well, let's say we get to 90 degrees. It's a value that describes the air particles moving around. Now the dew point, mid 70s, yeah, that's tropical. This one right here is the one that says, okay, this is the value the temperature needs to be for the air to be 100% saturated. When the dew point gets going and gets up there, it's more easily accessible. It's easier for the temperature to reach that value because, well, it's closer to the temperature. So the easier that process is for the air, well, the more water there is in the air. I mean, with that thing spinning around in the Gulf of Mexico, water temperatures in the mid to upper 80s, there's just so much energy readily available to be released. So any thunderstorm or shower that pops up is gonna dump a lot of rain. We know those days here in Florida where it's nice and sunny. And then for 10-15 minutes, it is a downpour. Your visibility is all out of whack. The thunder and lightning. There's water filling in the street. This time of year, the air feels so, so tropical. And we don't need a tropical system or a hurricane to tell us that. We just need a high dew point. Excuse me here while even in the comfortable air conditioning, I'm sweating. Salut.